Apple has just dropped another update to their fast VLM model. I have been covering these fast VLM models for quite some time and it seems that Apple is still trying to get that balance of quality and performance right. Now in this new version of fast VLM, they are not only trying to cater to the market which is looking to have a traditional size of VLM which is around 7 billion or 8 billion but also they have provisioned this very small 0.5 billion parameter model in VLM and that is what I am going to install in this video and we are going to test it out. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and if this is the first time you are visiting please also consider becoming a member because that helps a lot. So what exactly is this fast VLM model? It's a vision language model built for speed and efficiency. As per Apple's repo and I will drop the link in video's description especially when handling high resolution images. At the heart of any VLM is a vision encoder. Vision encoder is a component that processes the image and turns it into a set of meaningful visual tokens the language model can understand. Fast VLM from Apple introduces a new hybrid vision encoder called as Fast Wit HD, which blends convolutional layers and transformer to encode images much much faster while producing up to 16 times fewer tokens than standard vision transformer encoder. And this design drastically cuts down both the vision processing time and the number of tokens the language model has to process leading to significantly faster encoding and lower time to first token which is a key factor for responsive multimodal AI. So let's get it rolling. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA. A6000 or RTX 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Now for this model you really don't need a GPU. You can simply run it on CPU given the size. There is also an ONNX version which you can simply run with web GPU on your mobile. And if you don't know what web GPU is, how to get it installed, just search my channel. I have done a couple of videos on that too. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to create a virtual environment. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very good price, you can find the link to master compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. And now let's install some of the prerequisites here. And while it does that, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download the model. And the model is being downloaded. And I think before I finish my sentence, it has already downloaded it. Just 1.5 gig of uh, size. The model is very, very small. Okay, in the first one, I'm just going to give it a traffic image and I'm asking it which lane should I take as I'm driving a bus. So let me run this. It is running. This is the image. So this lane is open. Hopefully it will tell me to take this lane. It says the image shows a large light light up road sign that reads lane closed which indicates there is no through line available for buses and then it is saying that extra space so i'm just checking it out it says image shows a large light up road sign and this is answer and i'm quickly reading through it i'm not sure it has done good here i don't think so and this is a problem with these smaller models I'm not sure why exactly, um, you know, they are putting it in maybe for very, very basic task. But I would think that this is a basic task, right? It's a very clear image, which, you know, bus is there. It's a simple OCR and then maybe go from there. But that is why I still feel that uh, 
Gwen, Gwen's vision small models are uh, pretty decent, but still they are also when you use them in the real world, and I have used them in few of the projects, uh, they also don't cut it. The models which I have seen really working in the production in real world are 7 billion, 8 billion plus for the vision tasks. So anything less than that, yes, for games and hoots and whistles and just to show off that wow, 500 million or 0.5 billion model works for vision, that's fine. Anyway, let's see. I'll just give it an, another image and see. So what I have seen that these smallish models are just um, okay when it comes to describing some images. Um, so let's see if it can do that basic task. Okay, next up I have given it this image of uh, this dish and I'm also going to check the VRAM consumption as it runs so just over 2 gig of VRAM which is uh, not much really easily can fit onto the GPU I think it has already done there you go now you see so describing the image it, they work quite well so, and it has even identified it's a curry served in a shallow white bowl which is quite good the curry is enveloped in a rich thick sauce likely intended to enhance its flavor and keep it cohesive that's pretty nice and then accompanying okay so there is a meat and thing there is a potato there are some uh sayur or as they call in indonesian some veggies let's see accompanying the meat are small bright green leafy veggies likely cilantro garnishing yes it's a garnish and very very nice so I think this is pretty good. No doubt about that. This answer is um, passes with flying colors. Okay, let's try out few more. Next up, I am also giving it yet another high resolution image. This is a truck art, very, very popular in Pakistan and also I guess in India and few other South uh, Asian countries. So this is a truck art AI generated image. It is talking about that artistic truck with a vibrant, intricate design. And I have no idea about this technique. It is talking about color scheme, curtains, wheel, exhaust pipe. So it has described it pretty well, I would say. No doubt about that. Good stuff. Okay, let's try out. Maybe we'll try OCR once. I'm not, I don't think so. You shouldn't be using these models for OCR, but just for the heck of it, let's try it out. So for the OCR, I am just asking it to extract the text from image. And then this is the image where there are multiple languages in English, Arabic, some European languages, Hindi and few others. And you can see that it has really, you know, fallen flat on its face. Yep. So it can't do OCR. So for simple image tasks, it is quite good. And for OCR, I would not suggest just go with the, you know, typical default specialized OCR models. But for basic vision tasks, I think pretty decent models. And then there are other variants too, if you're looking for more complex things like invoice management or maybe tabular data, just check out their 7 billion one. But other than that, I think this model is quite suited for basic tasks on your edge devices. That's it. Please like the video and subscribe. If you uh, please uh, also consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you.